that's where they went to arrest them. At work, man. So Donald Trump says that all Mexicans are drug dealers and rapists. Right? So they dehumanize us. Right? What do they call what do they call black people in the 90s? Super predators. They didn't consider us to be human beings. Even to this day, no, a man can't take you and enslave you and make a slave out of you. But what they can do is put crack cocaine in your neighborhood and put a war on drugs up and lock up all your black Hispanic and Native American men. And then you can be a slave because you are now a criminal. Right? The crab in the bucket theory is because they, they created the bucket and they put that crab theory in us during slavery. Right? Good night, nice. Salafi, brother. It was so disgusting that trial, that 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 uh that verdict that came out. Then the judge, never in history has a judge stepped out her bitch to hug a, a, a convicted felon. That has never happened. You understand what I'm saying? That has never happened. Until it was a white woman that killed a, a black man. Why? America had a had a, a had an ex, had a way to show that there should be no more racial tensions in America. They had the opportunity to do it. America had its chance to show that it's wrong for white people to kill black people. They had their chance, but you know what they did? They dropped the goddamn ball. Right? Only gave her 10 years, man. 10 years for a cold blood killing a black man. Who's possessed a slave now? Read. Come on, come on. And hold themselves not guilty. They hold themselves not guilty. This Bible is a lie. Read from the top. Come on, come on. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 1. Who's possessed a slave them? And hold themselves not guilty. They kill us and they find themselves not guilty. That's what this scripture is saying. You understand what I'm saying? It happens, black people. All we're trying to do as the real priests and prophets of the Lord is warn you and wake you up to what's truly happening. Because while we're running around here being high, thinking we need to be thugs, you understand what I'm saying? Smoking that weed that they made legal, right? We got brothers in prison now that's serving uh, uh, three strike uh, time limits from selling marijuana. Now the so-called white man says, you know what? Our oppressors say, you know what? We're going to make some money behind this. So they start making money and they start legalizing it. But what about all of those, those non-bodied offenders, those non-bodied brothers that have been found that have sold marijuana? That they, that they put, that they'd have been in the uh, prison system for over 20, 30 years now. You understand what I'm saying? This place, this place called America, Black, Hispanic, and Native American people, is your place of captivity. Period, point blank. It's a place for you to understand, you know what I'm saying, that we need to start serving the God of the Bible again. Go ahead. Let's go out real quick. What this brother bringing out is heavy. I don't think people understand how important what this, this message this brother is saying. You think back to the Rodney King days. Rodney King got beat on national TV and every black, Hispanic, Native American man went crazy. And you know what? Rodney King was a criminal. He was a criminal that got beat and we all were, were offended by that, right? You fast forward a couple of years, you get Trayvon Martin shot by a devil. What y'all say? Well, there was weed in his system. You know, well, maybe if he would have complied, he would have lived. They make all of these excuses about what a black man has to do in order for another nigga not to kill him. You understand that? You got to raise your kids and teach your kids to do everything right so someone else won't mistake them and kill them. But what did this brother do in his house? What laws did he break? What trap music was he listening to? Was his pants below his waist? Was he taking pictures with stacks of money in his ear? Was he a rapper? Was he a drug dealer? He was none of that. That man was a monster.